Hello. Hello, everyone. Good Welcome. evening. Let's get tuned in ourselves so we can check who's yeah, just uh, coming slowly in. Slowly getting there. Um, just in case you're wondering what this is that's just suddenly popped up on your Facebook feed, uh, we're um, part of Holy Baptist Church and we're going to spend half an hour just doing some worship, doing some prayer, and um, sharing some uh, passages. Feel free to comment in the comments below. Let's see who we've got. Helen Sweet is always first. I reckon she's there, ready and waiting. She's probably yes. there before us. <laughs> uh, welcome, Susanna and Jill. Love to have you with us. <laughs> Hi, Leslie. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Oh, slowly picking up. Yeah. <laughs> All songs in a heart. There we go. Lovely. Aww. Hi, Jackie. Evening. Thank you for joining us. Oh, turn that off. Don't want that. There we go. So I don't know how what your days have been like. It's been a bit changeable weather-wise. It really rained earlier, didn't it? It really went dark and chucked it down. Yes. Fortunately, I managed to... We did one trip with the kids down to the park and I avoided the rain. And I did a good dog yeah, trip yeah. and I avoided the rain. So that worked out quite well. Hi, Mark. Oh, Helen is always cooking dinner and is perfect company. Oh, Aww. It's a bit late for cooking dinner, Helen. <laughs> That's what happens when you've got a baby. It's, uh, yeah, all, your, all timings go out the window. Um, oh, hi, Angie. Hi, Karen, Caroline, and Sue. Hi, Janice from Scotland. Welcome. Hi, Hello. Daniel. It's lovely to have you all with us. Um, yeah, I hope you're doing okay. hope you're surviving lockdown. I don't know if any of you have got any plans to visit any safari parks or zoos this weekend. <laughs> or, or have become part of a bubble. Or become part of a bubble, yes. yes. So maybe if you're living on your own, maybe you've decided, um, with permission, I presume, to become uh, a bubble with another household. So... Do let us know if that's what you decide to do, because that's quite exciting. Uh, and if any of you just go, uh, can't wait to get in those shops that are going to be opening, is it next week? I, I don't remember. know, I think it's going to be a nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be avoiding, I avoid shops anyway, so uh, that's not a problem. Hi Fred, Hello, have you on my computer and my phone? Good, that, that increases well, we're in our... stereo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah. Hi Ray. Oh, hello Chris. Hi Chris. So feel free to converse Yay. between yourselves, and that's fine. Um, the song words uh, this evening are uh, available on the Facebook post that I put on, on the Holy Baptist Church Facebook page. And it's in the comments section, so feel free to click on there and the words will come up. We've got four songs uh, tonight. And yeah, and as we said before, feel free to comment Feel free to share any prayers or Bible passages and we'll try and keep an eye on this uh, and uh, maybe share some of the things that you've said as we go through. Yeah. Um, I think that's about it, really. Yeah. Perhaps we ought to start. <laughs> so, Good idea. Um, are you going to start? With... I'll start then. Yep. Yep. Go then. Um... Oh, and, oh, Angie's going to paste song words in the comments. So thank you very much, oh, Angie. Well. Yes, yeah. yeah, so that might make things a little bit easier for some of you. Yeah, so see how quickly we we'll see how quickly we can sing, see if we can get her out of time. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just been um, thinking about how um, it's just been going on in my mind about how great God is and the amazement um, of His splendor and and just being in awe really. And I couldn't really put my I couldn't really put into words why that has just suddenly come to the forefront of my mind. And I'm with you, Leslie. That. Um, Often my best things come to me in the shower because that's when I'm on my own <laughs> and not distracted. And I just kept feeling like um, just that almighty power of God and, and the heavenly hosts and the throne room of heaven and, and all of those um, great followers of Jesus that are up there praising God eternally. And just the, the worship and the prayers and the um, just the awesomeness of that was just really striking me today and um, oh yeah I just feel like so, so some of the songs we've chosen are kind of just lifting up God and 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 putting him where he belongs on the throne of in heaven and on the throne and God over everything but also about bringing ourselves in front of that throne room and just getting into a place of worship a place of just 
standing there in awe but also in acceptance because God has paved the way for us through his son Jesus Christ that we can be in that awesome throne room we can get a feel of that awesome throne room here tangibly in worshipping God here now and um, but we're allowed to be there and we're accepted there because of what Jesus did for us so it's just something that's just been resonating with me a bit and it's hard to fit into words because it's been more of a feeling rather than a, um, a conversation or a prayer it's just like that kind of gut oh you know God's amazing God's awesome wow and, and how little I am in that um, but actually he still loves me personally and still accepts me and still has something for me to do just me and each one of you a unique thing for you he wants you to do for him on this earth and what a privilege to have that awesome God impart some of his plan on us and wanting us to follow his will for our lives and I just felt um, part of what um, made me realize that just like the the scope of um, how awesome Jesus and God are is when Jesus was born the heavenly realms um, as the shepherds were told about him the heavenly realms opened up and I can't now find it typically here we go and you know they just the, the shepherds were told do not be afraid you know we've got good news for you Jesus has been born and then suddenly I mean how weird would this be and this would be amazing if this happened tonight but you know but let's just imagine it does if we don't see it for our physical eyes and our physical self that suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests how cool is that so they were praising God but they were saying peace on you because on whom his favour rests and then this is sort of again where Jesus is resurrected and he's up in the throne room and he's in the heavens and they again the heavenly host the heavenly realms are singing and praising and saying loudly worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and I can't read because my eyes have gone blurred power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise and then to him who sits on the throne and to the lamb be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever and just imagine the trumpet sounding the angels and all of those um you know believers in christ that are with him now praising the heavenly most high singing those words over singing and, and when they hear worship on earth from us in our living rooms hopefully in unison together they just join in and love it god loves the sound of our worship to him so let's just have that in mind as we go into the first couple of few songs mm. i'll just pray as mm. well yeah so lord we thank you that you are awesome you thank you that we can worship you what a gift that we can bring and lift our our praises of worship to you that that enables like a um like a jacob's ladder to um for us to to come to the heavenly realms in our spirit and um, have receive from the heavenly realms as well lord so we just pray that this worship will be a sweet sound to you and that we will grasp that awesomeness that the heavenly hosts are joining in and we are all worshipping you together even though we can't see each other and we can't see them necessarily we are all worshipping together the, and the praise and honour be you for you um, Lord and Jesus Almighty. Amen. Amen. So our first song tonight is uh, we stand and lift up our hands um, holy is the Lord. It's optional whether you do stand or lift up your hands, but but we can't because we'll just disappear off screen. <laughs> <laughs> Holy is the Lord 
it took one out. We stand and lift up our hands For the joy of the Lord is our strength We bow down and worship Him now How great, how awesome is He And together we sing Everyone sing
and amazement of how wonderful God is. Just all together, let's just sing and praise our, our Lord now. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord. You are just so amazing. You are so worthy of our praise. Oh, thank you. Come, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your risen power. Thank you that we may humbly approach your throne and worship you on bended knee. I'm just reminded of the time with the, um, just we spoke about um, actually one Sunday of the woman touch, just touching Jesus' cloak. He had all faith that if she just could touch his cloak, she would be healed. And I just get that real sense that she probably had like almost felt like a static or electric shock as the power went from Jesus into her. And I just thank you that that's just like a snippet of the power of of God. That's just a snippet. And she was instantly healed just by touching his robe. And in the same way, I just feel like the heavenly throne room is just a, such a big, awesome place. And God is sitting on that throne and the cloak of the Lord is just swooping around his feet and in front of him. And that we're just there in the throne room. And we just want to grab a tip of that robe. So just visualise yourself in that place and wherever that, however you get yourself into that place, just reach out to a tip of his robe. Just receive that snippet of a shock of his awesome power. Just hold out your hands or even reach out if that helps you to visualise that. Lord, we just pray that your power will fall in every home now in Jesus' name. That as people are reaching out to just get a tiny bit of you, that they will feel your power in absolutely abundance. And that you will rain down on them and you will have a beaming smile because you are so pleased with your children. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all that you are. Amen. You stood before creation, eternity in your hand. You spoke the earth into motion, my soul now to stand. You stood before My sin weighed upon your shoulders, my soul now to stand. So what can I say? 
What can I do? But offer this heart to God. Lead me to you. So I walk upon salvation. Your spirit alive in me. My life to declare your promise. My soul now to stand. So what can I say? What can I do? But offer this heart of struggling with um, you know they don't know who what to turn to who to turn to next they don't understand whether they're allowed to do things or not they're frightened and anxious about the fact that lockdown is even lifting because they feel worried about what does that look like how do I go to the shops what does that look like and it's feeling fear and anxieties rising up and I just wondered if we could go back to that chorus bit where I say I'll stand um, because I just want you to put all of that at the foot of the cross Anything that's causing you that grief and that problems, I pray that you can just put that at the foot of the cross. And we're just going to sing that chorus maybe just one or two times through again. And I just want you to, to just abandon those things and stand with your arms held high, your heart abandoned of those things, those fears and worries there at the foot of the cross. And surrender yourself and give everything over to God as you sing these words. Just let that be a way of releasing that for yourselves. So we'll just sing that again. I stand with arms high, heart abandoned, in awe of the one who gave it all. I stand my soul on to you, surrendered all. just um, in that same feeling and attitude of prayer that we've just been talking about 
let's bring this song um, over to God as well. NHS and key workers and mm. giving them strength and peace. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, it's just um, it's just lovely that you could all join us. And I just wanted to to finish with um, um, just a reflection of Ezekiel um, and the Valley of Dry Bones. And um, and yeah, just being able to, um, you know Ezekiel being able to speak words to those bones as God, the Lord intended as the Lord um, instructed him and the valley of dry bones bit by bit came to life but the last thing that brought those valley of dry bones to life was the breath of God that gave them and breathed life into them and I just um, really want to encourage you that we've been talking about the awesome power of God and we're also saying about surrendering ourselves and just to open your hearts and your minds and your hands and anything that physically makes you feel open and feel that breath of God just been breathing new life into you. Mm. Allow his peace to wash over you. So we'll just end that as a, as a prayer now as we come to close. Mm. 
So Lord, we thank you for your breath of life. We thank you that you are the almighty creator. And we just all come before you now at the end of this worship time. We thank you for this time together. And we pray that you will breathe your breath, your Holy Spirit, onto each one of us and equip us with what we need to go forward for this week. Yeah. We thank you, Lord, that you do give us an equipment that what we need, you will impart to us. So we just lift everyone who is watching and we'll watch this um, on YouTube later and everything. Yeah. We just pray that you will bless them you will hold them close and keep them safe in jesus name amen amen so thank you for being church with us this evening uh please share this uh with your uh, on your facebook page do like it and do uh catch up with us at half past 10 on sunday on that's YouTube. on youtube although the link is on our facebook page and if you haven't done do subscribe to our uh, youtube page and like our facebook page Yes. And everything else. And, everything and else. also, there's Holy Baptist have other pages going on, so there's um, so you'll be able to find those through the Holy Baptist page. But there's Messy Church for school aged yeah. children, toddlers. The toddlers. There's toddler group. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So yeah. just have a look. If you put Holy Baptist in, probably they'll all come up. Cool. Excellent. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye. Happy evening. Bye.